Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to our channel for more tips and videos. Top 10 Banned Snacks In spite of eating a square 3 meals a day, there comes a point at around 4 p.m. when your stomach starts to feel rumbly, and you're in danger of getting hangry. You know what saves the day? A snack. What happens if what you reach for is forbidden fruit? Watch the video to learn why tasty foods such as savory and sweet snacks have been unceremoniously banned in various locations. Number 10. Flamin' Hot Cheetos Since they were introduced half a century ago, Cheetos have become a staple in many kids' lunchboxes but it wasn't until the 1990s that Flamin' Hot varieties took over cafeterias for better or for worse. Despite its tasty reputation, the popular spicy snack has been banned from several school districts in New Mexico, California, and Illinois due to its lack of nutritional value. According to reports, some parents became anxious because of a possible side effect. Since the Flamin' Hot Cheetos are high in red dye, the stools of those who consume large quantities turn a disturbing red or orange color, scaring sick caregivers into believing they have a genuine medical emergency and causing unnecessary trips to the ER. Number 9. Kinder Eggs An Italian brand, Ferraro, produces Kinder Surprise, a famous snack in the food industry. However, more commonly known as Kinder Eggs, Original Kinder eggs are made of a milk chocolate and cream shell, inside of which is a plastic container. In the container is a small toy, often in several pieces that need to be assembled. Kids love the combination of candy and playthings, while adults might throw away the candy and keep the toy, however the FDA in the United States was decidedly unimpressed. While Kinder eggs were permitted to be imported into Mexico and Canada, they were banned in the US. Why? Because a toy is considered a non-nutritive object and it is illegal to include toys in candy. Further, the rules state that any candy that has a toy or trinket embedded in it is forbidden due to concerns about choking hazard. As of mid-2017, the Kinder Joy was available in the US, as that product packages the chocolate and the surprise separately. Number 8. Chocolate Milk Tempe Elementary School District in Arizona banned a seemingly innocent snack from their lunchrooms in late 2019. Thus, they joined Washington DC, Rochester, New York, Minnesota, and San Francisco, who had already forbidden the treat. In the case of Tempe, the ban grew out of a larger effort to reduce the amount of high fructose corn syrup and added sugars consumed by the students. Though the Arizona chocolate milk kibosh was not met with any substantial complaint by parents or students, as it was reported, at the time, the New York City Department of Education was also mulling a ruling against flavored milk products. Several New York Congress members expressed concern that the ban would hurt dairy farmers. Number 7. French Fries An Ohio Republican representative named Bob Ney, at the time the chair of the Committee on Administration for the House of Representatives, made a move that was immediately of interest to drive-time DJ conversation and late-night punchlines, ban, not a snack itself, but its name. French fries, and also toast, were not allowed to be sold or consumed in the house cafeteria, but freedom fries were fine. It was, of course, on a symbolic level, as France was unwilling to support the Iraq war post-September 11th, and Ney felt eating French fries to be un-American. During World War I, German names were forbidden in the United States, including sauerkraut, renamed Liberty Cabbage, and German measles, Liberty Measles. Of course at that time, Germany was an American enemy while, in 2003, France remained an American ally, but regardless, there were no French fries in the house until August of 2006, when the name was changed back without fanfare. Number 6. British Cadbury Chocolate Several Cadbury chocolate devotees are puzzled when they buy the snack in the United States, explaining that the taste is quite different from the real British Cadbury they're used to. Chocolate giant Hershey manufactures and sells Cadbury bars in the US, but it uses a different recipe than in the UK. The main difference between the two recipes is the first ingredient, milk in the UK version, sugar in the American version. English chocolate is also fattier and contains no preservatives. Hershey's bans the sale of British-made Cadbury chocolate in the United States, and is aggressive about defending their turf, even suing small shops who try to get away with selling the imported stuff. Although Hershey is not a regulatory agency, it reserves the right to crack down on its licensing agreements. As a result, it can try to stop the sale of British products on American soil. Number 5. Cupcakes Have there ever been happier treats than a cupcake with icing and sprinkles, especially on a birthday? No, but that didn't stop Knox County, Tennessee's North Shore Elementary from banning them in 2016. A note was sent home telling parents they should not bring cupcakes to school for birthdays or other special occasions or events. As a matter of fact, Brandon Pratt acted as the food police for anything the kids brought from home, insisting that the food meet strict calorie, sodium, sugar, and fat guidelines. 
Pratt cited a traumatizing incident from his first year of charge in which a student ate a piece of candy and was sent into anaphylactic shock because of an allergy when he defended his rules. The culture of the school has changed somewhat since the guidelines went into effect. For instance, on Valentine's Day, students are encouraged to exchange small items like stationary supplies, instead of the more traditional candy. If you enjoyed the video till now as much as we enjoyed making it, please like, subscribe and share it through the share button below. Number 4. Milkshakes. There are a number of snack bans in the US, but this one is a little different. Police in Edinburgh, Scotland ordered a particular McDonald's that sells milkshakes to cease selling them for one day. This was partly due to their proximity to an event where Brexit campaigner Nigel Farage would be present. Melted ice cream drinks have been used by the protesters to attack those they don't agree with. An individual lobbing a McDonald's milkshake at British political campaigner Tommy Robinson, who would suffer another incident just a few days later, went viral in 2019 and became a full-fledged movement. Police were repeatedly attacked with milkshake missiles, leading to the restaurant near the Farage event hanging a sign on its door reading. This is due to a police request given recent events. Milkshakes or ice cream will not be sold tonight. Number 3. Soda. Due to the ban on this snack, another one rose to fame, soda. Blue laws were passed in many states in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Essentially, blue laws are religious laws which restrict anything which is deemed to be sinful, regardless of what it might appear to be. In addition to prohibiting alcohol sales on Sundays, another major prohibition included the sale of sucking sodas during the Sabbath. Not entirely clear, but perhaps related to the fact that young people tend to congregate around soda shops. At these snack counters, you could get root beer floats and ice cream sodas, made from a soda base with ice cream floating on top. As soon as they switched from selling syrup for soda to selling ice cream, they created the ice cream sundae. The spelling changed from Sunday to Sunday at some point, which might be a reference to the fact that at that point, they were already as popular as the sodas and sold every day of the week. Number 2. Pizza. Pizza can be either a snack or a meal, depending on whether it's sliced or taken as a pie. It doesn't matter what you call it. For the people of San Vitaliano, a small town in Italy, it became a problem. In 2015, the tiny town was choked by smog, which was more prevalent in large cities. Unexpectedly, the culprit was discovered to be wood-burning pizza ovens. Businesses in the town were banned from using the ovens unless they were fitted with a special filter. The pizza makers in San Vitaliano were understandably angry, stating that the air pollution had nothing to do with their pies. Mount Vesuvius, mostly dormant, but not extinct, is less than 20 miles from San Vitaliano, so they may have had a point. Number 1. Popcorn we find it hard to comprehend watching a movie on the big screen without the constant soundtrack of people munching on popcorn, but the snack has been banned at one point in time. At the beginning of cinemas, they screened silent films, which required a higher level of literacy, and attracted sophisticated audiences who often dressed and behaved the same way they would in a traditional theater. This was reflected in the movie theaters themselves, with expensive decor, including plush carpeting that owners did not want food to ruin, hence the ban on popcorn. When movie theaters started showing talkies, movie-going culture changed, and so did the theaters themselves. The movie theater owners realized that they could make a huge profit by selling popcorn in their lobbies, so the buttery snack became forever associated with our favorite movies. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed making it. Please like, subscribe and share it through the share button below.